If you want to create this stylish glitter text effect in Canva, then keep watching because in this video I'm going to teach you step by step exactly which tools and resources I use to create these beautiful glitter text effects. Now on this video I will be teaching you 4 different techniques that you can use to create glitter text on solid backgrounds like this one, also with a photo in the background like this, and also on textured and gradient backgrounds like these. And I'm also going to teach you how to achieve this even if you don't have a Canva Pro account, so stick around for that. Plus, I will share with you all the little tricks and hacks that I figured out while making this tutorial. And trust me, those will make all the difference, especially when you're getting frustrated because the effect is simply not working as you expected. And there's also a very special gift I've put together for you as well, so stick around for that too. Okay, so welcome back to Kitty Mogul, and let's get started. Technique number one applying a glitter effect to normal text with a solid background. So the first thing you need to do is create a new design in Canva and you can do this by going to the upper right corner of the screen and clicking create a design. And for this tutorial I will be using the Instagram square post size which is 1008 by 1008 pixels. So now that we're here we'll go to this toolbar on the left side of the screen and click text. Next we're going to click add a heading and now we're going to add our text. You can adjust the size by increasing this field here, or you can select your text and pull the bottom right corner to make it as big as you want. You can also adjust your spacing and you can set your font. For this example, I chose this font called Calistoga, but you can use whichever font you like. Okay, so now I want to adjust the letter spacing only on the first row of the text, so I will be doing that by selecting the first row and then clicking spacing and adjusting it to look a little bit more spaced. So now that we're ready, we're going to be adding a square shape on top and we'll do that by going to the left sidebar, selecting elements, shapes and clicking the square shape. Then we're going to tweak our yellow square to give it just a little bit more space to each side. And now we're going to change the color of our shape and set it to yellow. Next, we'll go to position on this upper toolbar and click send to back. And next, we're going to change our text color to white. This next step is very important because it could make the difference between this effect actually working or not. With our selected text, we're going to go to Effects, Outline, and add a white outline to our text. And you'll see that the default setting is a bit high, so you may want to decrease that to make your text just a little thicker without affecting how clear it actually looks. You can play around with this and just try what works best for you. Okay, so now that we're ready, we're going to download this image by clicking Share, selecting our format as PNG, and clicking Download. And once we download that, we're going to re-upload it and place it on a new page on our design. And this is where the magic actually starts. On the left toolbar, we're going to select Elements, and we can type something like glitter or glitter texture and select the texture that we want to work with. You can choose whichever one you like and if you can't find one that you really love, I'll also be linking down below a super special free gallery with a very cute selection of glittery and textured backgrounds for you to use on your marketing, promotional or personal projects. So now that we have our glitter texture ready, we're going to right click it and go to layers and click send to back. Now, with our text image selected, we're going to click Edit Photo. 
And now we're going to run the background remover tool. And voila, we just added a glitter texture to our text. A little pro tip for you here is this. You may want to make your glitter texture just a little bit smaller than your yellow square so that you don't have any color bleeding once you share your design. And now all you need to do is select your elements, click group, and copy and paste them into your social media marketing design. You can use this technique on practically any kind of digital media, social posts to promote your own business or your clients' businesses if you have a social media marketing agency. And I know what you may be thinking. Like, what if I want to use this glitter text effect without this yellow square bar thing? What if I want something more versatile and elegant? Now, how about if I told you that if you can do this, you can most certainly do something like this and this, which takes us to technique number two. Technique number two is applying a glitter text effect to normal text with a textured background. Okay, so once again, we're going to start with our text on top of the yellow square. And I'm going to skip that first part, not to waste any of your time and cut right to the chase. And now that we have our text ready, we're going to once again download it. And upload it to our design. And once again, crop it just enough to reach the limits of our yellow square. Next, we're going to place our glitter texture on the back of our text image. Right click it and go to layer, send to back, and crop our glitter texture to be the size that we want. Next, we're going to select our image and click Edit Photo and run the Background Remover tool once again. But hey, that's just half of the job, right? Yes, that is just half the job, which is why we're going to set our background to yellow. And we're going to download this once again, but this time we'll be setting the download size to twice the size of our design. Select our current page and click Download. And now we're going to re-upload this to Canva, but now we're going to change our background color to black. And guess what? Yes, you guessed right. We're going to select our image and run the background remover tool once again. And there's our super stylish and chic glitter text effect. All you need to do is copy and paste it into your social media marketing design and you can adjust not only its size but also its color. For example, you can go to edit photo and click adjust and increase the temperature just a bit. Also increase the contrast and you can also adjust your saturation to make it look just the way you want it to. Remember, you can also adjust the elements in your design by using Canva's layer feature, which lets you switch the order of your elements and easily bring them to the front or the back by just clicking and dragging them. This technique can help you create very stylish social media posts, stories, and much more. By the way, this stylish texture I use for the social media post background is called Black Silk. So remember you can search for it on Canva, or you can always use the cute and stylish gallery I prepared for you. But you know, sometimes normal text is just a bit too generic and we want a bit of a different effect, something more creative and dynamic, like say, the kind of impression a script or calligraphy text has, which takes us to technique number three. Technique number three is applying a glitter text effect to a script or calligraphy text. Okay, so once again, we're going to go to text, add a heading, and write our text. Now for the font, I use this very cute Canva font and it's called Sulu Script. You can search for it on the Canva font library. And increase the size. 
Now I do have to say this was the hardest technique to achieve for me and I'll tell you why in just a minute. But for now, let's just say that I found this 251 point size to work best. So again, we'll be adding our yellow square, except this time I had to be super careful about the square size and make it a very specific size, because otherwise it simply wasn't working correctly. So I'm sharing with you the actual size that ended up working for me. And we're going to center it. And bring our yellow square all the way to the back. And next, we'll be selecting our text and changing its color to white. And adding our white outline. In this case, I set the outline size to 8. Next, we're going to download our design, except this time we'll be choosing our size to the maximum setting. Select our current page and click download. So we'll be uploading that image to Canva and we'll be copying and pasting the gold glitter texture that we had been using for technique 2. So on the layers panel, I will be choosing that texture, copying it and pasting it into our new design and do some sizing adjustments always making sure that our glitter texture is just a little bit smaller than our yellow square and once again applying the background remover tool Okay, now we'll do just a bit of cropping. And setting our background color to yellow. And once again, download it at the highest possible setting. Uploading it once again. Crop it just a little bit because we want to make it bigger. setting our background to black and once again running the background remover tool. Except this time, as you can see, the background remover tool missed this little spot that makes the letter S look like an actual letter S. Okay, so after a bit of trial and error, I ultimately decided to pull up an old trick. Yes, that's right, the old geometric shape trick. And all I did was insert this circle shape and place it where the negative space of S would go to simulate a solid black background so that once again I could download the image and upload it back to Canva then make it the right size make the background white and once again apply the background remover tool it worked! so easy right? So you can add this to your social media posts, just copy and paste it, adjust its size to make it look just right, and you'll be ready to go. You can try this with Canva selection of glitter textures, or you can use the free gallery link down below. By the way, if you have any more ideas of textures and backgrounds that you would want to see in the gallery, please feel free to share them. Now please bear in mind that, like most Canva tools, this background remover tool is still in development. So by the time you watch this video, there might already be an easier, better way to do this. But I'm just sharing with you what I've learned and discovered by trial and error, hoping that it's helpful for your projects and your business. So as you may have noticed by now, you do need a Canva Pro account to access this background remover tool. But before you go away and forget this video forever, I got good news for you, my friend. Because as of the making of this video, you can get a free 30-day trial to Canva Pro. By the way, this is not a sponsored video. Canva paid me nothing to make this video. But in all honesty, I have been using Canva to run my businesses for years. And I do honestly believe it's a great tool. Otherwise, I wouldn't even mention it. So if you want to try and take advantage of that free trial, then go right ahead. 
but I do understand that you may have already used your Canva trial, so maybe you can't do that right now. So that's where this part of the video will come extra handy to you, because you can get a glitter text effect without the need for a Canva Pro account. And this is how. Just create a new design on Canva. And again, I'm choosing the Instagram square post size for example purposes, but you can choose any design size you want. Next, go to Elements on the left toolbar and scroll down until you see an option called Frames. Click See All and scroll down until you see the letter shaped frames. Now for this example, I will be writing the word love, so I will be selecting the letters L-O-V-E. So now we're going to make these a little bit smaller and try to place them accordingly. Adjust their sizing and positioning to look nice. And for the background, I will be using this color that I will be sharing with you on the screen for you to use if you want as well. Now for the glitter texture, I'm just doing a quick search and choosing a cool glitter texture. Now we'll be dragging and dropping down the glitter texture into the letter frames. Now you could search for a silk texture on Canva, or you may use this beautiful pink silk texture that's included in the free gallery link down below. There's gold glitter textures there, rose gold glitter, silk textures, soft gradients, and sky textures. I prepare this with lots of love, so I hope you enjoy picking your favorite textures and backgrounds. So I will just drag and drop my texture to upload it to Canva. And next, we're going to click it and make it bigger. until we're happy with how it looks. Next, we're going to go to our Layers panel and drag it behind our letters and set the transparency to 29. Now you can try different glitter textures and see what works for you. While I was doing this tutorial, I actually figured that the gold glitter texture wasn't working so well with its default settings, so I decided to adjust its settings with a little bit more temperature, contrast and saturation. Then I copied and pasted the letter where I made the changes, right clicked, clicked detach image and copied and pasted it before dragging it into the other letters as well. Finally, I added a shadow effect by going to Elements and searching for Shadow. Making it the right size. And on the Layers panel, dragging it behind the letters. And then setting its transparency to 51. And there you have it. Four different techniques that you can use to create a glitter text effect on Canva, with or without Canva Pro. Now remember you can pause and rewatch this tutorial as many times as you want. And if you have any questions or this didn't work right for you, also please share it in the comments down below so we can figure it out together. If you love this tutorial or anything that's mentioned in it, please shout out to Kitty Mogul on social media. Our mission is to empower as many women around the world to become the best and most profitable entrepreneurs, agents, and marketers they can be, with free tutorials like this one. So if you want to make an impact and help us out with that mission, please feel free to shout out, like, share with friends, or anything you'd like really. It's always nice to be in touch. Once again, thanks for watching Kitty Mogul. I hope to see you back here soon.